We are looking to the south at Sitka in Alaska. And I want to draw your attention to this area here as I progress forward one frame. This is 1020 in the 1020 a.m. And we have this object here, which I believe must be the brown dwarf. Now if we enhance it a little bit, there you can see it. Now let's go and see if we can't find it elsewhere to corroborate this. Well, it didn't take very long to find it. Looking in the southern sky, right here at Crooked Creek. I tried to enhance it, but it really wasn't that great, so. But you can see it right there. And this is Cake looking to the west, 8.45 a.m. But we do have a small orb up here. But more interestingly was this cloud here. No, not really a cloud, just object. So I enhanced it. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like a cloud to me. I don't know what it is, but that's not a cloud. This is Talk looking to the southwest at 3.31 in the afternoon. Hmm. That pretty much tells the whole story right there. And the next frame is missing. This is Cape Fanshawe looking to the southeast. And what in the world is that little thing there? Well, let's take a look. Not sure. Doesn't look like a cloud to me. Cape Fanshaw looking to the northwest. And, you know, is it just a bird? Well, if it is, it's friggin' huge. <laughs> You compare the size of this thing to whatever it is here in the water, um, it's just massive. Anyway, progressing forward, what's this down here? Okay, 10 minutes prior, it's not there, then it is, then it's gone. Let's have a close up. That's peculiar. Doesn't look like a boat. Looks like a, a group of orbs. Don't know. Pretty odd, though. That is for sure. Wouldn't you agree? And I want to finish up this video with my son today in central Vermont. And I just found it to be acting peculiar. It may be completely normal. I'm not really sure. I don't think so, though.
I find it to be well flashing quite a bit. <clears throat> I know there's clouds there. What I do find strange is that the sun would be so affected by these little clouds if the sun is 96 million miles away or whatever it is um, that it would be doing this. So I wouldn't be showing it if I didn't think that this was anomalous. Now, one of the other things that I notice is that there's a very dark orb in the background, a halo, if you will. You know, could this be the simulator that is, let's say our real sun was uh, behind whatever this large object is, assuming there is an object there, and this is the simulator in front and it's trying to obfuscate an eclipse of our sun. That's just a theory. Um, and I also wanted to point you guys to a really interesting video that I watched. And um, it's uh, John Casey, who's a former NASA person. and. The uh, video is on True News, T R U N E W S dot com, or on YouTube. I'll put a link below. And it explains how we're now in a solar minimum, and that this is when we have catastrophic earthquakes in the United States, in particular the um, um, New Madrid fault. And he explains some of the effects of, of that, if that were to go. And I found it to be a very informative interview. So I'm going to share that with you guys. And he explains that this happens every, I think, 211 years or something like that. And, and we're in that period now. So um, that may be one of the biggest threats to us is if there is to be a catastrophic earthquake in that part of the country, it would cut off uh, fuel deliveries uh, to the Northeast and also food deliveries and, and things like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my son today. If you have any comments about it, it does look to be octagonal, which is unusual to me. There you can pretty well see the uh, halo, if you will, uh, behind it. If you have any comments about it, please share. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you real soon. Take care. Sunday, January 29th, 2017. We are looking to the south at Sitka in Alaska, and I want to draw your attention to this area here as I progress forward one frame. This is 10.20 in the 10.20 a.m. And we have this object here, which I believe must be the brown dwarf. Now, if we enhance it a little bit, there you can see it. Now let's go and see if we can't find it elsewhere to corroborate this. Well, it didn't take very long to find it. Looking in the southern sky, right here at Crooked Creek.